Jersey Crypto here. Guys, we're not we're not out of the thicket yet. All right. You know what actually would be really good for the space? Considering everyone, including myself, thinks that everything's going to start going up by the end of the month. If it didn't. If we went into a long accumulation phase right now. Where things slightly dropped but leveled out at newer like, you know, higher lows, substantially higher lows. I think the crypto market would end up being considered a pretty healthy market. Now, deep down, do we all want that? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But what I do know is no matter what, we're going to see a similar, maybe not as dramatic, drop in the market as there was in May earlier this year. Um, so things will go down. They'll come back up a little. Not as much as where they were. Then they'll drop back down a little bit further. We're going to see a couple phases to the downside. And... I'm going to buy as it goes down every time I think it hits a bottom. I'm not going to buy with all of my money that I have to spend on crypto. I'm going to buy with some of it each time because as it starts going back up from, you know, this new low, hopefully a higher low. Um, you still have opportunity to put money in because you can buy on the way up, you know, coming from the bottom. So you don't want to, you don't want to just dump your bags in like, oh, this must be it. No, there, there's going to be a lower low for the medium term. Hopefully it stays as a higher low for the medium to long term, considering it was about you know, six, eight months since the last one. Um, if you kind of look at uh, the last eight months, I mean, more than anything, it was an accumulation phase for like eight months. You know, up and down from that, that new median, but it's been accumulation phase for eight months after the market rose up and I feel like I've experienced this before I'm trying you know I always try to remember my feelings from the last bull run um I'm sure that you know coming back into this next uptrend in the next you know say hopefully it's a in the next two weeks, we figure out a direction. Um, if it lasts longer than that, honestly, I mean, I think we're in a totally different ball game, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, a new ball game, new opportunity. You know what I mean? All these uh, big wig YouTubers, they're going to be, they don't, they, they're not really going to know what to talk about. They're going to have to think of new things. Who would have thought? You know what I'm saying? That's the real plan B, baby. That being said, um, if you're, if you're not confident in the crypto that you're in, I'm not saying to back out you know, switch your position because, you know, if, it, if it's not like a terrible amount of money that you put into something, the whole market, when it goes up, everything's going to go up unless, you know, you're, you're in a, a rug pull scenario, um, which those aren't that, that common. If you have any type of like ethics and how you, you buy coins, 
and you're not just buying any random coin without like knowing anything about it like that this really shouldn't happen to, to any somewhat educated investor like just like common sense like you know what I mean um but that being said if you're not really confident in the cryptos you're holding during these bear times you know these bearish trends because I can sleep at night with the coins that I hold and you know my my account will go up tens of thousands of dollars and down tens of thousands of dollars every single time something like this happens no joke it's it's not fun watching the money so i try not to watch the money i try to watch what's happening other than the money you know what i mean as far as my own personal money um algorand $2 billion total was invested into the growth of Algorand. That's going to go a long way in the space. No one else has that behind them as far as real money coming in. That's something that I'm willing to hold. That's something I'm happy I, ha I bought. Because I didn't put $2 billion in. And I bought it before there was $2 billion put in. So, there you go. As simple as that. Uh, Sia Coin. Sia Coin is my baby. You know, Skynet, um, Sia Cloud. You know, the cloud, this is the, th the opportunity in the cloud, um, you know, decentralized cloud coins is... This is the facts. It hasn't been adopted yet. The whole entire like portion of the market that is cloud, decentralized cloud, it has not been adopted yet. Yes, there are users. There's users on everything. There's users on coins that don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for the actual utility of what the decentralized cloud is supposed to amount to, it's not even tough. It, it hasn't even dipped its toes in, in adoption as far as that goes. So early investors, they, the early, early people, they don't see the gains, you know, like uh, that are basically this, this is how it goes. It's hard to even explain. I'm sitting on a 30x for Sia coin right a 30x i'm sitting on it now i don't get to share that with too many people because there's not too many people that were buying in three years ago four years ago you know what i mean um now if you are the only one sitting on a 30x no matter what you say to anyone else they don't see the opportunity because they're buying in now or just previously you know what i mean and the the coin recently hasn't really moved that much so and and the reason being is because the overall speculative market has not accepted cloud storage to be all that it is and will be so as far as that goes the speculatory speculativity whatever you want to call it the marketplace hasn't accepted cloud storage to be some super appreciating asset yet something that everyone needs to dive into there is going to be a discovery of it and anyone that gets in prior to the discovery of how important decentralized cloud is we'll see massive crypto gains baby think about it why is metaverse coins trending because people are already they already saw the appreciation the crazy crypto gains um that's a huge market 
it's going to be harder and harder to find newer coins that are going to amount to anything because there's too many projects that are have been putting in the work you know Decentraland's been around forever Sandbox came in at a good time but Decentraland's been around forever the people that were buying Decentraland at pennies under pennies they're sitting on that they're sitting on that at this point so how are the other people going to buy in at this point and, and you know what I mean so that market has moved ahead Pat on the back to all the people that were buying into metaverse type coins, you know, three, four years ago, right? That opportunity still stands with cloud storage. That opportunity still stands. Now, Decentraland, one of the one of the earliest movers, been around forever. Everyone kind of knew it, even if it wasn't the best project currently. Not saying it isn't. But people are going to buy into that. So, therefore, see a coin. Been around forever. They actually have the most development under them as far as time frame and man hours. They're creating a whole new internet on top of their cloud layer. They're a layer one. They're going to be developing more smart contracts to offer more capabilities. So, I'm good with that. I'm good with them. Other people are going to discover them when cloud storage, decentralized cloud blows up. December 10th, three days from now. Um, Blue Sky. The uh, VP from Skynet. David Vorick. You know, a bunch of members from Blue Sky and the developers. Who knows, Jack Dorsey could join in and it just goes insane. That's three days from now. That's good. That's even if it doesn't make the impact because now it's happening during a bearish trend, which in three days I could see it still being that. Or maybe it could turn things around depending on how epic it is. You know, I, I don't, I'm not going to try to you know, predetermine the impact that this is going to have. I'm just going to just wait and take it in. Algorand. Back to Algorand. Algorand is growing in all of the marketplaces that are at the bottom right now. DeFi isn't being utilized how it can be used, how it was being used or adopted in the beginning of the year. NFTs, same thing. They're not being bought the same way they were. There are going to be new artists discovered on Algorand, the ones that are putting in the most work. The ones that are allowing the art collectors to see the appreciation before it happens in the artwork. It's up to the artist to push their own artwork, but it's a business right now. It is a business. It's not just, there's not enough to, like, putting your NFT as your, um, you know, profile picture isn't enough to just buy whatever NFT you like. People want to brag. They want to buy the expensive NFTs. Or they want to own NFTs they think are going to be expensive and then throw them up on their profile picture. You know what I'm saying? I can't just buy artwork, an NFT that I like and, like... Uh, I guess I could. I mean, essentially, you could download the image. Is it? Is it? You know, you get one of those digital picture frames. Whatever, just enjoy it at your house. But I mean, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But just you know, the the NFT markets at a low. All this money got dumped in for DeFi for NFT marketplaces. Mm -hmm to be built on Algorand. Once those markets start trending again and people start flooding into those markets after art starts getting sold for 100x what it was uh, originally minted for and people are like, oh shit, I gotta hop on board. Who do you think is gonna appreciate from all those different markets? 
Algorand because they're they're providing the markets for the ecosystem. They're allowing them to be built on top of them. Not allowing them, it's decentralized, but their their protocol is uh, able to be built on top of for these and they're attracting enough money from outside sources that they are being built on top of. So, there's that. Um Rarible is same deal rareable same deal as governance starts to be you know uh considered more by i mean there's big big time investors that know what governance is so i'm i'm all about getting in early on governance all about it owning algorand you're able to be part of the governance so, essentially, Al the Algorand coin is, is governance for that ecosystem. Because it's, that's how it is decentralized. That's how it's decentralized. The token holders, or the coin holders, are voting on the direction of Algorand. And it's, it's all up front. It shows how many votes were in which which decision is is you know favored more so that's important imagine holding enough algorand that your vote has just a little more weight than everyone else and you like that's power right there you know what i'm saying like that's that's power but you get to share that power you know what i mean so I just want everyone to think about the reason why they're in the coins that they're in and during the bear markets or the bear trends how confident are you you know what I mean and if you're not confident then don't necessarily sell out of your positions unless you're over you know in, unless you overbought um but maybe accept the fact that Algorand's not going to 100x you know this year and if it does it does that's crazy my youtube channel would become way more interesting <laughs> but you know Algorand may not 100x but it's definitely going to 5 to 10x like for sure you know what i mean so and when it fives to 10 x's it's not going to fall off the face of the earth so you'll have more time with that five to ten x to either take a little bit off the table and wait for the for it to dip depending on what the market's looking like and then you could buy back in or send that money to another another project like you can make 10 moves of a 5 to 10x and get your 100x off of coins that matter. It takes a little bit more work, but it's not as much of a gamble. Do people look at it that way? I mean, that's like that's that's part of the opportunity. Like you don't you don't have to find that 100x. You could just like keep banking on those top coins that are definitely going to go up. Have a little more patience. Um, you know, get in at the right times and just keep taking a little profits off the top and, and either divvying it up amongst some of the top coins. You know, like everything I'm invested in other than Rarible, um, I did start dabbling into one of the game coins, uh, game credits on Bitrex because they're coming out with a, uh, metaverse game on their platform they've been around forever um and they're at like a 40 million dollar market cap so you know if anyone like fomos into the game that, that just screams opportunity there um also they're not a rug pull because they've been around since like 2016 so there's that
you know, I'm not telling anyone to invest in this. This is something I'm just like throwing money at. Like literally. Oh, excuse me. What else? NFTs, buying NFTs. Trying to help motivate the artists to like get what the trend is. Um, you know, being a supporter because if you're supporting the artists and you support the correct artists that actually have like real work ethic behind them and they don't just give up because they're not selling like art every single day, um, you know, that you'll, you're going to see that you're going to see the appreciation in their artwork just for how they have it laid out. You know, when they're when the first ten are dropping at, you know, say five algorand, then the second ten drop at ten algorand, and people are just scooping them up, and they raise the prices accordingly as the trend happens. You know, and the and they also they predetermined it, and their art is good enough to back that. Then that's when you get that's when you build up that hype. It also allows people that bought the first ten to have the opportunity when the second or third 10 go to double or triple their money just because they're they're minting at those prices either way nice little rant hopefully it gave you guys some new perspectives that are my own um enjoy your day Crypto gains, baby.